beautiful people. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Today we are taking a look at the new Shush Pro Whistle and I'll be comparing it to the original Shush Whistle as well that I reviewed a few months ago. Now if you haven't seen the uh, video review on these whistles yet, I would recommend going and checking that out, but I will go over a few of the things that make these whistles unique anyway, just to keep you up to date if you don't want to switch around and watch my previous review. So let's get into it. The Shush Pro Whistle comes in a hard plastic case. These are great for travel and for storing your whistles as well. If we open this up, you can see inside that the Shush Whistle Pro is actually in a black finish. And this is still a brass whistle, but with this black coating. We have a plastic mouthpiece at the top here. We have six holes as it's a high D regular tin whistle. The Shush Pro logo here at the top and the signature shush mouthpiece or the addition to the blade and this is partly what gives these whistles their unique sound. Shush whistles are based on Fadog whistles and they improve some of the sound quality within those whistles by adding different things. So for example the blade geometry is changed using this little shush blade plate and that actually changes the voice and the tone and quality of the sound that comes through the whistle. They also feature what shush whistles call their secret acoustic compound and this is a mixture of materials that enhance the, the tone and the warmth and the richness of the sound that comes from these whistles. It's often done by filling um, gaps that you otherwise find in these plastic mouthpieces. I do have a video on how to tweak whistles and a lot of the tweaking that you do um, is basically an attempt to make whistles sound like this. So it's quite an interesting process. The Shush Pro is a heavier weight whistle. It's a thicker bore and a heavier material. So um, there's more brass in this whistle than there is in the original. And that's been added to give this whistle a more rounded and fuller sound. So hopefully you'll be able to hear that when I give these a play for you shortly. Again, they've tinkered with the blade geometry on the Shush Pro to give you a clearer sound. So we'll see how these two sound in a moment. I'll also go through some um, tuning tests for you as well. The Shush Pro is tunable, so that's also a great feature. And we'll see how they compare. So as you can see tuning wise, the Shush Pro is perfectly on point. The Shush original again is still really great with the tuning. You can hear a little bit the difference in the sound of the voice of these whistles. So I will play something through for you now and um, yeah, you'll be able to hear that comparison hopefully more clearly. As for volume, you can see that they don't actually get that high up as far as decibel count goes. Um, if you compare that or you compare these to other tin whistles, I think it was only the Chris Wall Sweet Brass that was comparatively quiet to these. Also perhaps the Clark Original Tin Whistle. So I'll give these both a play for you now. Um, I'm going to play Kiss From A Rose because uh, I put a tutorial out for this one last week. It's a really fun one to play so I'm going to give that a go on these two.
So from the sound comparison, you can hear that the Shush original whistle is somewhat softer, a little more chiffy. The Shush Pro whistle does have that richer, more rounded sound. It sounds a little bit louder, but yeah, you can see the difference, especially if you're going to be recording. Um, the Shush Pro really would give you that edge. If you are looking for a quiet whistle to play around the house, the Shush Pro whistle really is still a whistle that is a perfect contender for that. These are great for even playing in cars and playing in flats. If you if you live with neighbors or if you live with other people that find other tin whistles a little bit too loud for regular use, then these could be really, really helpful. Price-wise, the Shush Original is currently 49 pounds on the Shush Instruments website, and the Shush Pro is 69 pounds. As far as the whistle goes itself, the mouthpieces, again, because they're quite common, are reasonably comfortable in the mouth. The whistle is still fairly lightweight, although it is heavier than the Shush original. So if you do have a problem with the weight of whistles, I might recommend going for the original over the Pro, as the Pro does have a little extra weight to it. I like the look of the black finish. I like the narrow-ish bore on these whistles. Some um, Heidi whistles tend to have bores slightly on the wider side, and although this gives you an interesting sound, I quite like that these are both really sturdy feeling and nice and slim. They're so easy to take with you anywhere and I really appreciate that. I really like the fact with the Shush Pro that they've made it tunable. Um, the tuning slide at the top is basically you just move the mouthpiece but it has been greased and it works perfectly as a tuning slide which is really helpful if you're playing with other musicians. Uh, yeah, I think it's a great little investment. If you'd like to find out more information about Shush Whistles, I will put up my original review on screen in a few moments, but I've also linked the Shush Instruments website in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was useful. Please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try my best to answer them. Um, again, if there's any instruments that you'd like me to review, leave those requests below as well and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Happy whistling and I'll see you folks soon. Bye.